hey everyone welcome to my youtube channel uh, today we are going to see a video tutorial on hive collection functions now before going into the details of what hive collection functions are uh, i would like to revisit the collection data types that we have seen in uh, the earlier uh, uh, tutorial so if you remember uh, there are three types of uh, collection data types or advanced data types uh, that we always say uh, that are supported in hive uh, array and map and there is one more data type called as struct okay so here in this particular example what we are going to explore is how we can uh, you know run some kind of functions uh, which are very useful in terms of getting the uh, information about these advanced data types in hype okay so that's why we are calling this particular uh, functions as collection functions because these functions works extensively on the collection data types uh, that are supported in hype okay so having said that uh, let's revisit the uh, data that we are going to use in this particular tutorial uh, as you can see there are a couple of names i have written okay then uh, engineering branch let's say in which branch they are uh, studying and in which year uh, they are studying so this is how uh, it has been written uh, if you are not really aware about the advanced data types in hype you can uh, you know visit or see my uh, tutorial on hive advanced data types i'll give the link in the description okay so uh, if you see this particular uh, data set right then these names are delimited by this uh, vertical line okay then the entire data is been delimited by the comma and these kinds of map right which is a combination of key and value is delimited by the colon right so this is how it has been delimited and that's how we are going to write this particular information while creating the dapl that first is id this is my entire second field which is nothing but names which is a array of string and this is my third field which is going to be a map and this map like as as the name suggests right map is always is going to be a combination of key and value so key is branch value is it and here the year is key and second year sc is the value for this particular key and this is how the couple of more records are created here in the five, fifth record if you have seen i have intentionally dropped the names uh, field let's say somehow uh, because we usually see these kinds of data in uh, the production data right that we uh, always get that the certain fields are blank or there are no values in certain fields so how we wanted to see how hive behaves in this particular case so as you can see the definition of this particular create table that create table if not exist force information id is integer names is array of string and then course underscore details is nothing but my map of string comma string my uh, key is also a string and value is also a string right then the delimiters that we are uh, going to explicitly mention here that the row format delimited fields are terminated by comma the various fields right id name and course details are terminated by comma then collection items are terminated by vertical line okay so these are the collection items so these are separated by this vertical line and this is also one collection item which is again separated by this vertical line and map keys so this is my map the last field is nothing but the map the keys and values are terminated by colon so this is what we are uh, writing here the map keys are terminated by colon okay uh, so let's create this particular table uh, in high okay so let me show you let's first log into high so if you see uh, i have already created this particular table so if you just run show tables right then you will be able to see that there is a course information table that is already created 
okay now let me show you the data by selecting the records in this particular table course info okay so this is how it will uh, give you the this is my id then this is nothing but the array of string having the names and branch and year so this is how we can see the data now coming to the main topic uh, where we wanted to see the collection functions in hive what this particular function really you know uh, uh, you know help us in terms of getting the data is for example let's say you wanted to, there are you know uh, 6 to 7 uh, types of collection functions that we will see in this particular tutorial so the first one is name that what is the size of this particular field now here as you can see right uh, in the first record there are three names in the second record there are three names so likewise uh, if you want to get how many records or how many uh, elements are there within one single field or one single column then you can use the size uh, function so let's go ahead and run this particular thing right so it will display this number that this particular element Sachin Saurabh Rahul has three elements here also three elements here there is just one name here in the third record which is Ganesh then it will display the one and here again we have the three and in the last since we have kept this particular field intentionally blank it will just display zero so this is the importance of this size function that it will help you to get the length of this particular column length as in how many elements are there in this particular column which is nothing but the size of the column okay then let's again see how many what is the size of the another column which is nothing but our course detail okay so for course detail again it will display that it has two elements this has like this four first four records as two elements but but only the last record has just year as a key which is nothing but this particular value so that, that's why it is displaying the value of this particular uh, you know key and value or map is one but for rest all four records it is two okay so this is nothing but the size function the details or uh, what uh, output it gives that this is how it works in high let's move on uh, to the next case now here as you see right uh, the name of the column with the map data type is course detail now here what we want to see is for example how many keys are there in this particular data set so for that you can what you can use is you can use the map underscore keys function right and you can give the name of that particular column with the data type of map string comma string right so what it will do it will just trace out the keys of the column of that particular column and it will display it to you now here for example in this particular column or in this particular record there were two keys branch and year so this is what the output of this particular map keys function that branch and year are the two keys that are used here likewise for all the four record the first four record both the keys are present branch is also present year is also present but when it comes to this fifth record we don't have branch we are just directly writing the year so that's why in the the output of this map keys function is just year okay so this is how the map keys work on the same lines what you want to say is now for example how many values are there here we have seen how many keys are there or what are the exact keys are there in this particular column on the same line if you want to see uh, the actual values then you can just use the map underscore values function okay so if you run this then instead of displaying the key as uh, it was displaying here because we have used map keys but once you use this map values function then it is going to display the actual values of those key right so here we have these values it second year comp third year mechanical first year endc second year and for the last there is no branch key that is used it is just a year so that's why it is just showing the one value as b okay so this is how this map values map underscore values function will work 
now the next function is really very helpful uh, when when whenever there are huge data sets right where you want to find certain strings so you can use this array underscore contents function let's say this is you know a field with let's say uh, 50 or 100 names which are delimited by uh, this vertical line and you just are in search of one single string let's say saurav okay so what you can do is you can just use this particular array underscore contents function by passing the column name and the value that you are searching for so that it will display and which record it is present so here it will display that this is the record and whether the past value is present in this particular record or not so here since this particular value is present here it has displayed true but for rest of all these records it has displayed the false okay so this is how the array contains function works moving on for the sorting now let's say these array elements right if you wanted to see those in a sorted order then you can use sort underscore array and name of the column that you have to pass as a parameter so select sort underscore array in bracket names which is nothing but the these names so the way we have given it uh, in the data is in this particular order but this sort underscore array function will give the uh, you know the uh, sequence of this particular column in its ascending order by default okay so it will uh, sort it uh, rahul comes always r come first then before s the so sachin and then saurabh so this is how it will display these values okay so these are the uh, functions uh, more specifically collection functions in hive and these are very useful whenever you wanted to iterate over the uh, collection data types right the collection data types like array uh, and then map and what then what not then you can certainly make use of these particular collection functions uh, so as to get the uh, expected result okay so that's it for this particular tutorial guys uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this particular tutorial and i'll see you in the next one thank you